Hello, I'm Raudran and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create saber lights or neon lights in Adobe After Effects to use this as a cool background for motion graphics. Leave a like on this video and consider subscribing for more such videos in the future. Okay, open up After Effects, create a new composition. I am choosing a full HD composition with a frame rate of 24 and a duration of 5 seconds. Create a new solid and name it as Saber. Now go to the effects and presets panel and search for Saber. This effect you have to download this third party plugin which is a 100% free plugin. I will leave a link in the description down below so you can go there and download the plugin later on. So apply the Saber effect on the solid layer. Go to the effect controls and click on the stopwatch of the glow intensity to create a keyframe at the start of the timeline. Go to the end of the timeline and set the glow intensity value to 0. Now hold Alt key and again click on the stopwatch of the glow intensity to write in an expression. We are going to type in the expression wiggle 5 comma 25. So we have this kind of uh, flickering light effect. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the solid layer. And now change the glow color if you want. Press P to bring up the position property. Before that, set the blending mode of all the solid layers to add. Duplicate the solid as many lights as you want. And also you can change the color and change the position. I am going to create somewhere around 5 saber lights and I am going to evenly position them either side of the first solid layer. I will speed up this process. Select all the solid layers and right click and click on Precompose. Name it whatever you want, I am naming it as Saber Precomp and make sure you click on Move All Attributes. Duplicate this Precomp so that we can create a reflection of this. Now change the blending mode of the first Precomp to Lighten. Now go to the Effects and Presets panel and search for Camera Lens Blur Effect. and apply it on the second precomp in the timeline. Press P to bring up the position property of both the precomp layers and adjust them like this so that they look like floor reflections. Adjust the camera lens blur properties in the effect controls as you wish. I am setting this blur radius to 30. I am setting the roundness to 30. I am changing the gain to somewhere around 20 and the threshold to 255 and the saturation to 32 and also make sure you click on repeat edge pixels. Now that's it. We have created a cool looking flickering neon lights. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video leave a like below. Subscribe my channel for more future videos. And also you can follow me on Instagram at Rautan. There you will see a different version of me. Something like photography or not. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. This is Raudran signing off.